Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. In this problem they say which expression is equivalent to x to the fourth, and I'll write, I like to write these problems out as I read them, x to the fourth minus 12x squared plus 36. So they give us four choices and we could compare these in different ways. One way we can do it is distribute or use the distributive property in each pair of binomials to see which one gets us this trinomial, trinomial three terms. However, I think an easier way to do it is the reverse, is to factor this and see which of these matches the factored form. So let's do that. To factor this, we need to get x to the fourth. And the way to do that, that's the most efficient here, is take x squared and then multiply that by itself, sorry. So we take x squared here and here, we know that when we redistribute, eventually we'll be multiplying x squared by itself, and that will give us x to the fourth. Now the two numbers that we put here and here in our binomials, we'll have to multiply to 36 and add to negative 12, right? So what numbers do that? Well, I know that 6 times 6 is 36, positive 36, but we need that to add to negative 12, right? That's the common rule here, so we need two negatives. Right, because negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. Now here, the choice that matches that is choice 1. Um, but let's just go over why it has to multiply to 36 and add to negative 12. If I redistribute this, I think you'll see it. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Oops. Right, so if we're redistributing, we'll see why these rules work. So that's why our first two terms have to multiply to x to the fourth, because when we redistribute our binomials, they do multiply together. Then x squared times negative 6, right? We're distributing that, that's the way I can distribute. Um, that is negative 6x squared. Then negative 6 times x squared. That's our next distribution. Is negative 6x squared. And then finally, negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. So notice what just happened. We multiplied these two numbers to get positive 36. So that's why when you pick those two numbers, they have to multiply to positive 36. And here they have to add to negative 12 because in the next step when we combine these two terms, we do get our middle term, which is negative 12x squared. So they have to also add to the coefficient negative 12 of our trinomial. Lastly, notice we didn't need to think about the x squared really when we were looking for these two terms because when we distribute these x squareds to our negative sixes, it does come back into play. So that's a little bit of the background as to what's going on here. Thanks.